Okay, we're moving right along here. What I did uh, for the last day or so, what I had done offline here is to sand all these um, bumps and finish off the feathering off the back end. I finished up his face. Uh, I only did one half of it. I'm going to show you how to do the other half uh, of this uh, so you know how to do it. Uh, finished up the feathering um, as you see here. Now what we're going to do here, <clears throat> I put one eyeball in. Now when you do these eyes, I think this is a four millimeter, three or four for this project. You can see that I painted it yellow, okay? Uh, I did that so uh, you want to paint if you have your clear eyes or you can buy them yellow uh, if you want, but most of the time I buy them clear and then paint the color I need for the eyes then that's the yellow, yellow that you see there. I marked it with the wood burner. I have a very small wood burner uh, on, on the hand piece that fit right in there. And um, the rest I have to cut by hand. And I did the one side because this is kind of hard to do in the, in the position that this camera is in. Um, but what I want to first tell you is why don't we bring this up a little closer. Micro right there. And what we're going to do is we're just going to, I already burned this out. I'm just going to sliver this portion out of here. Okay, we're going to have to re-sand some of this, but you want to make a little bit of a ridge right here. Just like so. Okay, just like so. And what you want to do is you want to just Cut that out and follow that all the way around and underneath here as well. Alright, just like that. This is really going to be indent, indented uh, or pushed in inward just like it is here. Okay, that's what you're trying to get the same look on this side. Okay, I'll finish the rest of that when I'm offline that I can get to it a little bit easier. Um, so it's a matter of just putting a stop cut where you want it. I, I use the wood burner to do the stop cut. Um, what I need also is a smaller knife and um, I already started this. I tried a gouge and I just want to warn you if you use a gouge and it's not super sharp you're you're gonna tear some of these little fibers if I can show you this really up close some of these little fibers right in here okay um, you can see there's a little bit of a gap, which is okay. What I'm going to do is it's going to be uh, a plumber's putty that I'm going to put in there, and I'll show you how to do that in a second here. Um, but what you want to do is you just want to take your knife, and you just want to kind of slice it, stick it, and slice it out all the way around, and then just kind of pop it out, okay? And you want to take your time to make that eye. You know, you want to go back and take your eyeball here, and you're going to check it every so often, okay? You don't want to make it huge, but um, another thing you have to remember when you put these eyes in that they're right across from each other, all right? So that's one thing, one other thing you have to remember. And also he has a little nostril in here that we'll put with a wood burner, okay? When we're done here. This is going to be trimmed down just a tad. Um, I'm just going to take a little part part of this off yet. Um, it's just a little bit too, just a little bit too wide for my liking. And you want to taper it to a point in the front. Okay, so you want to be very careful when you when you cut out from here because uh, you can snap this off. You want to go with the grain if you can. Okay, just like that. And I'll tell you what I use to, um, oh, if I have one here, I'll show it to you. Hang on just a second. I know I took it along with me here. Here it is. I use a um, nail file. These things you can buy at a dollar store. That's where I got this one. And they're great for sanding a little bit off here and there. Okay. Um, like these little crevices and things and when I did all all of this that way uh, so 
that's how you put your eye in and then when you're ready to put the eye in what you want to do is you want to cut it probably you want to be careful you don't bend this like I just did because that will snap it off I've got to be very careful here you want to cut it maybe a fourth of an inch and then to get it in there it's like a thumbtack but you don't want to put a lot of pressure on it what you're going to do is take your knife okay take your knife the point of your knife and I jab it in there pretty far okay to give it room give that little wire some room to go in there all right so that's how you get the eye in there and then you cut it and then you gently push it in and once you push it in there you want to take an eraser a pencil with an eraser and then you can push it in a little further okay that way you don't crack the uh, the eye or anything else then I use this and I know this is kind of crammed all into one little video when I come back I'll show you um, how to use this fix it stick all purpose bonding putty um, I paid about six dollars for it. what it is it's just a um, a, um, a stick uh, two part uh, putty that you mix together and it gets really really hard and I use that for the eyelid okay so I'll show you how I use this in a little bit here on my next segment we'll, we'll get into that before we do that though I'll have this eye this other eye in in the socket and I'll probably have one eye already done and then I'll show you how to do the other one okay um, the other thing I'm gonna share with you on the next segment um, I put these this is a, the red and white stripes and I did this with the wood burner for a reason because um, it's like the stitching okay on the flag uh, and that's why I did it. the blue I'm gonna have two parts that are gonna be blue with this with the uh, with the stars um, actually three one two and three probably these two for sure I'm not sure about that one yet but anyway um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw these lines on like I have here and I don't know if you can see that really well uh, but I offset it a little bit to the next one so it looks like it's going under and then out alright so we'll be back and I'll show you how to do these eyelids in just a minute 